Now, I personally wouldn't know, but for those who have run a half marathon, I'm sure you you know you could attest it's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> but how about adding in several trips through customs? I don't know how that would go, but I'm curious to find out. Catherine Duchar met up with runners who did that. They took on 13 countries in 24 hours. Must have been quite an experience, Catherine. That's what they say. So 16 runners decided to take on this challenge last month. It's a story you're going to see only here on 8. I was lucky enough to talk with four of those members who got together and talked to me about their incredible experience, and uh, including the man who planned it all, Josh Sanders. Take a look. Just a couple of weeks ago, these four, plus 12 others, were together doing just this. They were running, but with views a little more magical. The mountain views, things that you would never typically get to do or see on one of our regular runs. Michigan is beautiful, and I've experienced some amazing runs around here, but something so unique. It's been described as the trip of a lifetime, something that's never been done on this level, according to Sanders. I was looking at races that went across multiple countries and just thought I would Google and try to figure out, you know, what is the most amount of countries somebody had run in a day. When I found out it was only three, you know, I, I started looking at those European countries close together and uh, figured out a route that it looked like 13 would be possible. Like any Euro trip, it took a lot of research, five months of planning, and Sanders knew he didn't want to do it alone. Being in the running community, I put out some posts saying, hey, I'm going to do this. Uh, you know, it'd be a record for most countries ever run in. Should be a heck of an adventure. Who wants to join me? Fifteen others committed from a number of places like South Carolina, Wisconsin, Colorado, California, although most were from the Mitten State. Ages range from 23 to 72. I just was enthralled by that idea of how can anyone run 13 countries in 24 hours. So, and then hearing that it was going to be a world record, I said, okay, for sure, I have to be in. <laughs> the adventure began on May 18th. The clock started at 4 a.m. in the Czech Republic, where the group ran at least a mile. And then it was on to the next, and the next, and the next, until finally. A lot of hugs, high fives. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It was surreal at the moment. Like, did this really just happen? <laughs> they ended in the Netherlands around 4 a.m. the next day. I would say the, the first 21 hours went smoothly. The last three were a little more stressful, like we've got to go, go, go. Uh, so when that kind of ended and that stress is over with and you realize it's 4 in the morning, you've been up 25 straight hours, you know, it, it's definitely, you're ready for the hotel bed. Breaking a record. <laughs> <laughs> Informing a forever friendship. So it's been submitted to Guinness for the world record, and they expect to find out within a few months. They think they're going to get it. That's uh, awesome. I love that map. It really puts it yeah. into perspective. Uh, how cool is it, really? I know. And so can you imagine, too, you have different ages. So the youngest, 23, the oldest, 72, running a half marathon doing this. And so they're all in different paces, and I think a couple of them ran their last mile in, like, five minutes, which is just crazy wow. in itself. But, yeah. Right? <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> Good for that. Get those stamps <laughs> in your passport. Wow. I think it'd be fun to do. Yeah, quite impressive. Yeah. Thanks for that story. <laughs>